All my work these days is done in acrylic paint. I've been using it for many, many decades and I understand the medium completely. What are the big advantages for me in acrylic paint is that I can layer different layers on top of each other. It gives enormous depth to the paint and one can work quite quickly because acrylic dries so fast that before you can really clear your brush, the, what's on the canvas is already drying. So, so it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful way of being able to control the paint by working quickly into it when it's still a bit moist and then the certain thing happens if you go into it uh, when it's dry already, then, then you go on top of that and it sits on the surface. So you get an, an incredible sense of depth into the paint. My canvases are made up in Johannesburg by a, a guy who I've been working with for decades now. And between the two of us, we perfected the surface that I like, which is not a normal canvas surface because we put sand into it, uh, uh, mix sand into the ground and, uh, and layer that on and to get a certain textural quality to paint on top of which I can then put the acrylic paint. My paints come from Germany, the reason being that um, they're reliable, they're inexpensive bought that way. Nobody quite gets the colors and things that I want here and in the size tubes. I, I don't like using small tubes of paint because I, I use great quantities and I'd like to uh, squeeze out onto the palette a, a sizable quantity to work with. I like coarse brushes because I do a lot of scrubbing and because of the sand in the uh, uh, ground, uh, um, and, and sometimes I add a little bit of uh, sand as I go to create a textural effect. And that is really very, very rough on brushes. They don't last very long. But the interesting thing is when the brushes get really beat up and, uh, um, and far too scruffy for uh, fine work, it's when I enjoy them the most because uh, accidents happen when you apply uh, paint with those things and it's lovely to build on. As the canvases that I paint on are getting bigger and bigger and with all the bracing that's needed on the back they're very heavy and um, and I find that it was becoming far too tiring to try and use a, a conventional easel. I met this mechanical engineer who's a fascinating guy and he does a lot of work for, for other artists. I worked with him in, in designing this easel which is counterweighted and uh, um, which means you can put the heaviest of, of canvases on and still be able to move it up and down with one finger which of, of course makes life a lot easier. Because I had not studied art in a classical form and, and, and essentially self-taught, I looked to the classics for inspiration and, uh, and studied paintings very, very closely. I've traveled all over the world. And in some cases I go to a, a center just to see one painting and examine it and, and see how the paint is put down. I think one learns a lot more that way than, than by being taught by somebody because you're bound to pick up the habits and the way of painting of your teacher. But if you go, if you go and see how the great works are put together, it becomes easier to then apply yourself to, to what you have seen. It, it's a way of inspiring you to develop.